I think I may have found a spot to paint here, it's rather lovely. Well, I came out on a walk this morning and found this scene and I just have to have a go at this, at this scene here and how much I can get in, whether to do a big square one or a 2430. It's a lovely composition. Here now, a nice big 36 square canvas to try and get this view, which is not going to be easy. As you can see, i decide next what my composition is going to be of this and whether I can get the canvas into the camera. Looks like I've just got the canvas in. It's, um, Start off with the composition then. I've got a pencil with me, so I'm going to use a, a wee fill bit straight off. And uh, as usual, a bit of blue just to draw out. Let's have a look now between my fingers and make a composition. I haven't got time to spend. If I'm going to do one this big, I haven't got time to waste. Uh, that's not going to help, is it? A sudden gust of wind. That's what happens on flying air. I hope the wind doesn't do that again. For heaven's sakes. Oh, I know that. And I want to get. I haven't got quite the composition I wanted. There's a bit more on the left, really. So let's change that a bit. We've got this, that, and that, and there, and there. Right. No time to waste. Straight on after those interruptions. And a big brush. Right through here. Yeah, there's a nice pinky yellow going on. I'm going to need a lot of paint today to do this, I can see. So let's get a nice pinky yellow distance here. Always seems too strong when we first start, always does. And because the canvas is so white, I have to find some colour in a minute. Don't do that yet. I think I might do that. Let's go to my one and a half inch and get that working for me. There we go, now let's get him with a big brush and maybe got to move. This cupboard. The paint's not thick enough yet, I want to get much thicker layers of paint on it here. I've just got to get some colour going. Can have all these cools happening. When you've got it on your brush straight in, don't miss about with no time to waste on this. Really haven't today. Better get these colours all going behind here. Just push it dry. The, the air is actually very moist. It's cold today. Oh, big one, eh? Right, back into these colours again. We're working on ply and air, we haven't got much choice to play around. Just keep getting some colours down. Looking at the shadows down here as well as already, so let's put the light colours on top in a minute. We really want to find these beautiful colours that are happening. Cold and uh, the wind's getting up, and the sun's just disappeared. It's just I needed that sun today. So whether it will come back, I don't know. I'm quite likely to be snowed upon, I think. Need to get big need just to get colour on. Cover up canvas at the minute. these warms and cools that are happening as they come through here. Just doing it a minute. 
huge amounts of cloud going through, which is going to give me time to get the underpainting done, but not. I will need the sun to do all the light colours. I need to get these different greys in a lot better than I have. That's coming down there. A variety of changing tones going on. Um, I'm going to go back to a smaller brush. As all the light has gone, suddenly it looks like it's going to snow again. So, best laid plans of mice and men. This paint is just not drying, and that's not helping me at all because I really do need to get these darker colours working. And if it's so wet, there's just thin layers going on here, it's just not good enough. So all I'm painting at the moment is mid tones because all the lights have disappeared as the uh, sun is gone. But to make do the best I can with this challenge. Talk about landscape challenge, and mind your landscape challenges, mate. So I've been asked on the wild cards to go and paint on landscape challenge, and it's very kind of them, but unless they actually ask me to come and be, join in properly, I'm not coming all the way back from France just to uh, stand amongst 100 people and maybe get in or not, much as I would enjoy it. That's uh, not enough to do. But I need this underpainting to dry because I've got to paint the lights on top and the lights will not go on if this isn't dry underneath. That's the trouble. There we go. That's in. Get the greens into that as well. It's just not drying at all. that distance in over there but because the paint isn't dry I can't snap over here colour on top. Coming down through here. And I really would like some pure colour but I can't get it on this wet undersur undersurface when it's just not dry. My word it's pushing me. some lovely colours, the sun's coming out, so I'm just starting to be able to find some of the other colours that are happening back here. Go down a bit, it's too much. I'm going to that into there. First, and just start to try and find these colours in the background there. The light back through behind the back of it here. Start to feel these lovely bits of light through the, the trees back here. Cream sort in there and all sorts yet, but let's just get this. Right, I've roped the canvas down now, so put a string across the bottom here, that might help. Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, wind's blowing away now, let's hope my string holds in the gale. When the sun's out, I've really got to work fast, try and pick up these colours. bright colours yet. Through there under these lovely cool 
Ooh. Bits of snow that are coming right through here in this foreground. And lots of marks. Of Let's really go for some light, 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 light cream. We really need to start getting the much brighter yellows in. The warmth of it. Let's really go for some brights now. Happening as they come down through here. Yellows and creams. Let's have a look now. We've got really strong colour just happening. That comes around there. And we've got these tyre marks just happening through here. Forward, down into there. All we'll these bits of some light on the branches. Now, a bit stronger in the yellow. Let's, let's just find a bit more of this sunlight going on in the background over here as it comes around here. Yeah, and now I put it on I can see it. Yeah, certainly certainly see it more now. That means it comes down through there as well. Yes, 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 we've got lovely lovely magenta pinks. Oh, that's a little bit deeper in places. I'm alive when I'm like this. A lot more blue in there. Take some. Start pushing these blues a bit more back here. Let's bring some of the warms back into here because it's got rather too cool suddenly. And um, colour that is. Look at these greens. And bring some of the stronger greens back to here. through here as they go back help the canvas suddenly blows out at you when you're trying to do a light mark so I'm not sure they're working to the sky more yet too but we'll see to do. The light's changed again and I'm a bit lost. Some wind's blowing up again. Move my canvas in the wind. There's snow swirling around me. It's hard to know how much I'm, I'm enjoying the painting or the actual conditions and being in them. How good the painting is because I'm enjoying the conditions so much I'm having the job to Actually. A little bit bluer into the background there, I think. <laughs> Hi! Isn't this wonderful? Isn't this an absolutely wonderful life to live when it's like this? Oh, yes. Alright, I need to get my smaller brushes and just work a few of these darks again I think before I call it a day. It's very important to be able to get these edges. You want rough against smooth, light against dark, warm against cool and my other brush just couldn't do this so I've got to come back with here into the sky. I'm just leaving some of these in here. I'm going to put a little bit of a lizard and crimson into that so I'm a bit warmer here in the foreground as they come down through there come to the warmth oh, 
quite much more to do, eh? Not a lot, I don't think, because I'm going to start losing the painting in this, in these conditions. The snow's going to, I think it's going to start melting the painting. Isn't it? Snow's really getting quite heavy now, so I'm going to have to pack up. I can see. Not a good eye. Not good, but never mind. It can't be helped. There we are, I think that'll have to do it. And my paint is actually running down the canvas now as, it, as the um, snow melts it, so I'll have to go. Let's get it off from here into the dry. Uh, I've got a problem with the lights trickling down as the snow's on it, but I think I should have touched some of those things up afterwards. Well, my problem at the very end there was that the snow came and started to melt the paint off before it could be properly dry. So I've got these dribbles coming down and I'm going to try and just take out a bit now with my finger and then I'm going to go back with a brush and work up some of these creams again and try and just touch up some of these places. It's one of the problems of the painting with line air. I suppose it's quite effective in its own way but so it's not what we want. So I'll just work on these a little bit go back and see what we can do to touch them up later but it's a pity because the painting is coming on quite nicely but one or two spots that are going to want just touching up maybe it shouldn't be too bad once they've dried out but it was good fun wasn't it so I've got to try and work on this a bit more now we soft this painting down in this light it was very strong with that bit of light out there and reflected from the snow but I need to touch up all of these Little spots and dots that have happened. Just do it as we do that. Just take a medium brush first of all. The one we've been using, yes, I think it was. And uh, it's not going to be easy because this was very thin paint and glazed. It's not going to be easy to make the same colours again, unfortunately. But bit by bit, that's what we can do. And hopefully, these little areas of snowflakes will actually turn into looking like snowflakes as I go on. There's some beautiful light colours happening through here and they've just disappeared with the snow melting them off. <laughs> 